What's up everybody? Welcome back to the world of Amos and today we're gonna review a video from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game It's in regards to the old slaughterhouse and I want to say this video came out in early April So just a few weeks ago I find this video very interesting because it gives us additional details and how the exits work and If you need a little recap on how the exits work within Texas Chainsaw Massacre here is a uh, screenshot from Andy Cleves explaining uh, the basic details about the exits. So there's four exits, two cattle grid exits, a fuse exit, and a valve exit. We're going to start with the two cattle grid exits. So with all exits, victims will have an objective to complete to make their escape. They'll need to turn off their power that electrifies the cattle grids. One is powered by a car battery, as was shown in the earlier screenshot with a hitchhiker. The other cattle grid exit is powered by a generator which is also shown in an earlier screenshot featuring the cook and Johnny. Okay, now let's take a look at a screenshot from the old slaughterhouse video that just came out. So in this screenshot, I think they're trying to highlight the cattle grid exit that is connected to the generator. So if we start at the bottom left or the left of the picture with the first arrow, you can see where the cord is connected to the gate. And then the second arrow highlights the direction that the cord is coming from. And then if you keep going right, and you get to the third arrow. I believe this is where the generator is located on this map. Um, I know it doesn't really look like a generator from this angle, but if we pull up the screenshot with Johnny and the cook, you can kind of see the resemblance uh, between the two generators that's on the, the family house and uh, that could be possibly on the slaughterhouse here. So another thing I noticed while trying to figure out this exit gate was uh, one of the doors was open in the background. So it pretty much confirms that uh, at least that car you can hide in and I'm assuming some of the other cars that are parked around this area So to the next screenshot we zoomed in on the car and this is a cattle grid exit that I think is connected to the car battery With that first arrow you can see where the power source is connected to the car On that second arrow on the back of the car. I believe that's where the car battery is. I know it's kind of hard to see So I found another car with a random battery sitting on it so you can kind of see what it looks like so I'm not sure if it's just simple as taking the battery to the front and then activating the trap that way or the cattle grid exit that way. Because in this screenshot, you can see the hitchhiker where he already has a car battery in the front and he's uh, setting up the, the cattle grid exit trap. Um, and then when we zoom back out, that number three arrow, you can see where there's like a skull and some bones. I'm not sure if that's specific just for uh, the hitchhiker so he can set up his traps or if that's also for victims to where they can get the, the bone shards to uh, defend themselves. To get a better perspective, here is the map of the slaughterhouse and I just highlighted the section where you would see the wire leading up to the car battery. I know it's not the best picture but that blue dot would be the battery and of course the yellow line would be the wire leading up to the gate or the cattle grid gate. This just kind of gives you a better idea of where the car is in relation to the gate. I believe this is another screenshot of the cattle grid exit tied to the, the car battery, but this is not from the video. This is from a previous post. I find this one interesting because if you look at the yellow wire, it looks like it actually goes down into the ground, possibly to the basement. Uh, but this is where I believe the exit is um, at the top left of the map. But this just kind of gives you a different angle. Now we're to the valve exit. After finding the valve handle, next up is seeking out the pressure valve pipe, which is where the victims will use a valve handle to repair it. Victims will need to complete a mini game, and once this is done, just like the fuse exit, time will be precious to make it to the valve exit. Here's the overhead shot of the slaughterhouse map again. The top left where you see the yellow and blue represents the cattle grid exit connected to the car battery. The purple is where I think the valve exit is, where this next screenshot is going to be, and then the bottom right is where I think the gin um, is connected to the cattle grid exit on the bottom of the map. Here's a screenshot of the valve exit. You can kind of see where the valve pump is to the right. Now, if you look straight back and you see that red door, I think when we get to this next screenshot, this is where the valve pump handle is. It looks like someone put it on already. I think it's just a matter of uh, being repaired and possibly doing the mini game. But you can kind of get a perspective of how close the handle pump is to the actual exit. And finally, the fuse exit. Once victims find the fuse, they'll need to locate the actual fuse box. Victims will only need one fuse to repair it. 
They'll also need an unlocked tool to open the fuse box. Once completed, this will open the fuse exit, but hurry, time is precious. I don't believe they actually show the fuse exit in this video, but if we pull up the map, the shaded areas represent the basement. And I believe this little tunnel area at the bottom of the map where the arrow is, is where the fuse exit would be. So I'm assuming that once you get the fuse and you unlock the, the fuse box and you install it and do the mini game, you can open the gate and then you have to run back down into the basement and exit where this little tunnel is. Because if you look up all the maps, you'll see another little shaded area like that's that goes a bit outside of the map. And I think that represents where the exit is in the basement. And that pretty much concludes the video for today. I just kind of want to focus on mainly the exits because I, I feel like that's been a hot topic. And um, I know there's probably some more information that's probably going to come out with another video. I'm assuming they're going to do a video that highlights the gas station and I hope they kind of focus on the fuse exit with that video and that way we can kind of tie everything up before the technical test. And that actually that reminds me, the technical test will be on May 25th, so make sure to put the Texas Chainsaw Massacre on your wish list on Steam. That we have an opportunity to participate in the technical test. The actual release date is August 18th. Also, if you made it this far, please consider hitting that follow or subscribe button for more Texas Chainsaw Massacre videos down the road. Have a good one.